Uh, one of my uh, pregame rituals is I always put my left skate on before my right. I put everything on right, then left side first. My only pregame ritual is probably just uh, getting dressed left to right, um, like shin pad, elbow pad, all that stuff, and then playing soccer with a few of the guys before uh, meeting with coach. Uh, maybe getting dressed, I usually put on uh, anything left to right, whether it's skates or gloves or uh, elbow pads, but that's about it. I get dressed left to right, but I am a ritual guy. I own a horseshoe in my room, and I touch it before I go to the rink every day. A uh, pregame ritual would just to be have a a long nap, and that's about it. To take a nap, take a shower before the game, uh, just listen to music the whole time. I should just try to take a nap, get up, have a good meal, take a shower, and then uh, I'm ready to go. Pre-game rituals, not really. I like to mess with Bo Dolan a bit, wake him up from his pre-game nap. Gets me, in the, gets me happy. All right, well, my, uh, my pre-game ritual would probably be, you know, grab a, a large coffee before the game and on my way to the rink. And uh, like as soon as I get there, I like to tape my sticks, wax them up, you know, do my knobs all over again and just keep everything fresh and ready to go for the game. One of my pregame rituals is I always have just a peanut butter sandwich before I go play my game. I always do the same handshake with the same player before uh, every game. Uh, I do not have any pre or post game rituals. I mean, as long as everyone stays out of my way, I'm a pretty happy man before games. Um, you know, I just try to stay cool and, uh, you know, get my mind right for the game. Uh, the only thing odd, like before games, is probably just Haggerty. He's all to himself. He puts on the, the headphones, the hat. He, you, you don't look at him. You don't talk to him. He's just zoned in. Uh, a teammate that has a weird pregame ritual uh, would be Ryan Haggerty. He walks around in tight spandex pants and flip flops and a sweatshirt. And I think he just walks around in circles. Uh, and he's there about four hours before the game, also. So no one really knows what's going on with that, but it, it gets him ready for the game and everyone just leaves him alone.